Starting in second grade, students learn multiple strategies for subtracting multi-digit numbers. We use a box to represent 100, the stick or line to represent 10, and the circle to represent 1. Now the student is going to check their math drawing and see, can I subtract 9? They see that they can't, so they're going to ungroup a 10 into 10 ones. We don't refer to borrowing anymore. We refer to ungrouping a 10 into 10 ones. You can see the student is showing it's still a 10, but it's represented by 10 ones. And now they're crossing out nine ones and see they have three remaining. Now the student is checking the math drawing to see, can I subtract 50 from 40? Since that isn't possible, the student is ungrouping 100 into 10 tens. Now the student will have 14 tens or 140 and they'll be able to subtract 50. You can see this change was made in the equation to show the 100 was changed. 93 is the answer. Another subtraction strategy that students learn is called the ungroup first strategy. Here the students are checking, starting in the ones place, are they able to do 2 minus 9? Since this isn't possible, the student then moves over to the tens place and ungroups a 10 to make 10 ones. You can see the student has changed to 4 tens and 12 ones, which still is 52. Now the student checks, do I have enough tens to subtract? No. So the student is going to ungroup 100 into 10 new tens. Now the student is able to do subtraction. At this point, the student may choose to start on the left and subtract tens, or start on the right and subtract ones. The answer is 93. In second grade, students learn a strategy called the expanded method to do subtraction. Now the student is going to think about each number and expand the number. So the student is thinking about 152 is equal to 100 plus 50 plus 2. And now the student is going to expand or break the number 59 apart. 59 is equal to 0 hundreds plus 50 plus 9. This strategy allows students to think about each place value more carefully. Now the student will look and see if they need to do any ungrouping to subtract. 2 minus 9. Yes, we need to ungroup. So we're going to take a 10. Now we have 40. And this new 10 we ungroup and add to 2. Now we have... 12 ones. We can say 12 minus 9. Now we need to look and see 40 minus 50. We'll need to ungroup 100. We'll break our 100 apart and we'll get 10 tens. Now we have zero hundreds. 10 tens plus 4 tens equals 14 tens or 140. Now students are able to do the subtracting and they're able to work from the left or the right. We have nine tens or 90. And now the student can see zero minus zero equals zero. And so they're able to put 90 plus three back together to know the answer for this subtraction.